Hi there. Um, this is the continuation of the previous lecture. We are basically, you know, uh, doing the C programming tutorial. It's uh, one of the tutorial, one of the uh, videos in uh, um, a whole bunch of uh, sequence of videos uh, to to cover the all, all the topics of C programming language, and this particular lecture is basically the continuation of the previous lecture. We are where we are trying to introduce you to uh, C programming. Um, okay. So what we were talking about was compilers and interpreters, and as I mentioned before, intermediate. Uh, you know, uh, what computer understands is simply um, just the machine language that's all it understands right here um, what we need but the programs that we, we cannot we cannot write programs in machine language because it's just it consists of numbers and it's very hard for us to read the numbers and you know write the numbers for example if I have to add two numbers you know it's uh, it's I have to write a code to basically uh, that says that add and then provide two numbers so the code itself will be in numbers so you know it's like full of numbers so it's, it's hard to handle anyway so if we write the programs in high level languages or intermediate level languages or in, and many of us write programs in assembly language also in either case what we need to do first is uh, convert those programs into machine language so that the program the so that the computer can understand and execute those programs um, and there are two types of softwares which actually help us do that and one is the compilers compilers basically uh, what they do is they convert the whole program into machine language interpreters and in, on other hand they convert one line of the program at a time into machine language and then execute that line um, so anyway so this was this was the introduction to all to these um, different types of languages um, now I have we have been talking about compilers we downloaded the compiler we installed the compiler we did this with the compiler so this is what what compiler means so we will be writing a program in C language here in in this uh, in this window right here just like this one and right here this is how a C program would look like and the uh, and and this there is a built-in compiler here in this software that we are running you know this dev C++ which will basically convert this into um, into a, a, a machine language program equivalent machine language program or you know into machine code as we uh, as we say and so that the computer can execute it computer cannot execute this program the way it is written like this it will basically have to be converted into machine language program before the computer can understand anyway so this is now this window that we see we are seeing here is called editor and this software is called integrated development environment because it has all the different aspects of development of computer program development is being integrated into this one software for example inside the software you can write the the program itself and it has as i said it has built in compiler it will compile that program which means it will convert into machine codes so that the computer can execute it and and it also has the something called debugger which basically helps us if there is some kind of problem in the program it will help us try to find out what the problem is we will we will we'll talk about debuggers later but for now this is look at this this is the editor part of it where you can basically uh, write the program the C program and as soon as we created the project uh, the computer uh, the software basically created this uh, this uh, small program for us it's a sample C program it's a very simple program and first thing I'll do is basically I'll make some little modification for us to understand it um, a little bit better um, without worrying about what I am doing here uh, I would also suggest you to basically make these changes or you know you don't have to really do that but you know at least I'll be doing it uh, every time so we will for now ignore all these lines that are written on this screen just you know because we don't we don't have knowledge at this point to basically understand what they mean so we'll just ignore them we'll just simply ignore them 
okay uh, we will come back as you know as we as we cover more and more in C programming language like with when we cover functions we will come back what that means what this this line over here means and when we'll cover headers and uh, and prototypes stuff like that we will we'll uh, we'll see what this these lines mean but for now just just uh, ignore those lines uh, let's let's start with the with the with a very simple program which will which will you know wh what is a program as i said before a program is simply a sequence of instructions to perform a particular task and or multiple tasks and the task can be very complicated it can be very simple here let's let's consider a task to print a simple message okay that's every every time when you start a new programming language that's what you do you print a simple message that will give you an idea how the program in that particular language looks like so we will just simply write a message saying you know uh, I don't know this is this is a computer age okay this is the computer age or this is the information age or something and this is how you do it in C this is a computer age this is it so this line of code you know print f which basically kind of tells the computer to print something and this message uh, as in, in quotes from here to here basically tells the computer what to print so it's just like you know when in our in our stories uh, in, in some books you know when we have to quote something that okay somebody said this exactly we we put it in the quotes we have to put this message in the quotes to basically tell the computer to print this as is so once you do that once you write the program and this our, our program is done here because our task was to print a message and we printed a message you need to go to be to um execute and select uh, select compile and run what it does is basically it will compile which means that it will convert this program from C program you know from a high level language you know C program or intermediate level language it's it's in C program basically to into uh, the machine language which computer can understand and execute or run so this option here compile and run or when you press F9 you just click on it and it will basically well it's asking you to save the file because you made any modi modification before you run it you want to save it so it's very always good idea to basically save the file so it saves it and and then it runs it there you go look at this this is what we were expecting so it brings up a window which will basically be displaying and doing all the things that we asked it in to do in the program in this particular window when you whenever you will run the one run, run the program this window will pop up and you can see in this particular program we were intending to basically print a message and you can see that message coming up as is as just the way we wrote it here this is a computer age and then you'll just press any key and the window will go away so you can see this simple program in written C will basically print this message here it's not too exciting but at least it gives you an idea of how or what a C program looks like we will always have these lines here in our program that we started with and here in this part of the code after, right after these braces uh, we will be writing the instructions to perform the task that we are trying to perform so this concludes the introduction to C program. Please um, continue to watch the other videos, uh, subsequent videos. Um, uh, I am sure I will be making a whole bunch of them to basically cover every aspect of C programming. Thank you so much.